Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Kelter News. My name is David Cerrero, and I have the pleasure today to have over the phone a fantastic, fantastic uh, director, film director. His name is Mr. Desmond Devonish, and he has just uh, released uh, a wonderful feature. It's an award-winning independent film that is called Miss Fortune, okay, Miss Fortune. And um, not only... He did uh, a, a tour de force, we call it, right, uh, by uh, directing it, but also by producing it and also starring in it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so this is quite exciting, and I have over the phone today Mr. Desmond Devanish. How are you, Desmond, today? Wonderful. Wonderful, David. Thank you for having me on. It's a pleasure to have you, and it's an honor. So listen, Desmond. I had the pleasure, because I have some privilege, uh, <laughs> the pleasure yeah. to uh, watch your great movie uh, Friday, uh, no, Thursday, sorry, uh, two days ago at um, the opening of the Chelsea Film Festival. That is a fantastic film festival that was created by, yeah. by my dear friend Ingrid Jambassi, so say hello to her, uh, that I had the pleasure to interview a few days ago for you guys can can listen to the interview. And uh, she told me, David, there would be a great movie for the opening, you know. So I was like, okay, let's check it out, okay? But I would have never thought that I will see this kind of movie. This is a first-class thriller. This is um, a, a masterclass in the acting, in the directing, and really in the producing. Thanks. So why don't you tell us, Desmond, um, I know you, you, you're very busy today because you are at the film festival, and I really appreciate you taking some, sure. some minutes for us. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the film Misfortune, about the story, but most importantly to start about yourself, what brought you to become a film director? Yes, well, um, I definitely thank you so much for, for that wonderful presentation. Um, I had such, a, I want to say first off the back, I had such an incredible uh, opening night at the Chelsea Film Festival. Uh, mm -hmm. Sonia Ingrid, Michael, and the entire uh, programming staff and coordinators just put on a phenomenal presentation. And to have to have a packed screening at the Cinepolis uh, uh, movie theater was just phenomenal. Just a wonderful way to cap off this year in New York, and 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 it was just extraordinary. So um, that uh, said. Uh, misfortune has been uh, quite a, a very eventful and and life um, uh, gratifying journey for me. Um, many lessons have been learned. The film uh, started off four years ago when myself and writing partner Xander Bailey and co-lead uh, embarked on the script. When initially we had put a, a previous film into pre-production that never uh, got into fruition because some finances went south and we had to start off again with something uh, of, a, of a more amenable uh, nature, uh, which turned into Misfortune, which we had uh, deliberately written for ourselves to play as uh, lead actors in. Wow, that's, that's really, really inspiring. And I really, really love to hear, and it's always very, very interesting how film director, regardless of uh, the, the size, you know, regardless how big they are, uh, they always have to pitch and, and to fight to get the movies done. And even once the movie has been approved, they have to fight to have <laughs> that scene happening and then being removed for either for, a, uh, you know, for, for budget or for, uh, mm -hmm. the, the sake of it, the organization, oh, it cannot be happening, you cannot have a stunt like this because of that and that. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's thanks to people like you that, you know, we have the Empire mm -hmm. Building, we have the Louvre in Paris, and we have, you know, because there, <laughs> there was once a, a crazy man who said, let's do that, you know. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, yes. And, and there was someone's vision, uh, uh, definitely. So, uh, tell us a little bit about the movie itself, uh, Misfortune. Um, the film is absolutely, I would, I'm sorry if I would say it many, many times, but <laughs> it is really, really amazing. And I wrote uh, a, a review that really came from my heart uh, on the website, uh, which you guys can read. And, and one read thing it. that I yeah. really love that, that you did, Desmond, is, is your acting in it is absolutely first class. Like your expression you. in it, and you literally <laughs> transform yourself. Tell us a little bit about that. 
Yeah, well, that that's that's really just those are wonderful moments for me. I feel like so much of life for me, uh, especially in this entertainment industry, which is very fruitful, but yet also has a lot of jagged edges and can be very unpredictable and very uh, difficult learning curve. So to be able to have a character in a film where you know where your parameters are, you know what your motivation is, it's very um, it's very comforting and liberating at the same time. And I think that's why I feel such a very strong home as an actor uh, when I have a chance to perform, because it's a very safe boundary. Even though there's very, uh, very much vulnerability involved in acting, it seems like it's okay to be there because not only will you not be judged, and even if you are judged, it's okay because you're giving to someone else some sort of understanding of what people go through. Uh, so that's why I, I believe, you know, you mentioned the expressions and all those quiet moments. In a way, film acting is for me a meditation. And I think I actually am a lot calmer and more in control when I'm on a film set than in real life. <laughs> wow. That's, that's uh, honestly, that's the best therapy. <laughs> That's really you. That was that was really really amazing. I mean, I don't want to reveal too much about the movie, but there are some things out there that wow, really. I was really 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 impressed, and and also all the fantastic cast that you had. Oh, I yeah. think the, the actors were really really more involved because um, they had you also as a co-star. You know, uh, I think that that definitely uh, changes the the way the other actors also are, are responding because you cannot say to the director, hey, my friend, I know how to do it, <laughs> you know, because you have the director who is acting with you. So he's also an actor, you know what I mean? It's, it's like when you're working as a waiter in the, re in the restaurant and, and, and yeah. you say to the, to the owner of the restaurant, hey, my friend, uh, I know how to wait tables. And the owner is also a waiter, you know what I mean? So it's like, hey, it's, you know, you, yeah. you, you, you cannot fool around people. And, and I must say that you got, on this great movie, Misfortune, you got amazing uh, press coverage, uh, whether it's from Indie Wire magazine, which, which are, yeah. these guys are really tough, you know. So, <laughs> like, like, that they you get, tough. you know, such a great uh, review and such great comments on, on Indie Wire. I mean, it tells it all. It really tells it all. You have some, some media if you purchase some advertising with them, usually they write you a good review. <laughs> but it's true. Wire Magazine, let me tell you, these guys, they are pretty, pretty tough. So uh, if you get just mentioned on their website, it means yep. you are really, really awesome. So that, that's really something um, uh, I want to congratulate you about. And also, Thank you. I want to, to, uh, to know, so this film has been touring and got amazing reviews and amazing critical acclaim uh, really also from the audience. The audience loves it, really. Like, uh, you're catching us from the beginning to the end. Like, at the end, you are in the room and you hear the gunshot, you hear all of that, you really feel... I mean, at some point, I thought I had the gun near my head. You know what I mean? I, I yeah. was really scared, you know. That, that, that's so well how you captured um, all, all those emotions. So... I know the the the, the film has been touring a few a film festival. Can you tell us what a film festival it's been touring into? Yeah, I know. This it's been a, it's been a wonderful wonderful um, uh, year as far as the, the the spots we played. We started off our festival circuit in India in Jaipur, and I had wow. initially uh, yeah it was just it was such a great place to start because it's not really a traditional place for an American movie to perform at. And especially given that, you know, most of India's uh, slate has, has been uh, primarily Bollywood films. And I feel like that there's a little more convention and more interest in American cinema um, for the festivals now in India. And I took a chance when I submitted to India and almost not even thinking that there would be a, a great margin of opportunity for it to, perform, to play there. And lo and behold, it got accepted at the end of December 2015. I said, that's it, I'm going to India. And I wasn't even concerned about uh, having it invalidate me for other major U.S. festivals because I thought, you know, how many times am I going to have an opportunity to have a world premiere screening in India? So, And I just was open to the idea of, of seeing what that would give me. And I think too often we play too great a part in trying to strategize our careers and trying to find the perfect way to move our, uh, you know, ourselves as artists and, 
just as as whatever creative uh, creative opportunities we want to open up for ourselves. When usually I feel that there's a lot more that has to be given to just the universal law of you know what is out there for you is 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 is, is the best you know place for you to go. And um, as far as this film, um, one thing I've learned is that this film has taken on a life of its own, and I've. I've, I've tried to use the metaphor of it being like a child where you try to nurture it and take care of it and, and, and feed it and give it, you know, its best, uh, its, its best uh, visibility. But at a certain point, you have to let go and you have to see where the film is going to be appreciated and where it's going to be liked and where it's going to uh, take you because that's, that's the journey. You've done, you put in a lot of the hard work and then you have to let it do its thing. So, yeah, we played in India. Uh, we won the best feature in India, uh, which was just uh, an incredible experience. Uh, we were in Jaipur, uh, and uh, then we were in uh, South Dakota, Black Hills. We, we went to Arizona, where we had our U.S. premiere, which is where we shot our film in Tucson, and that was an incredible uh, experience. We got some major press there. All the, uh, the, the, the people in Tucson uh, were so supportive of this. Our crew was supportive. And then we uh, were in Los Angeles at the TCL Chinese Theater 6, which was also a great experience. We got covered by The Hollywood Reporter. Um, so, I mean, it's just, it's been one thing after another. And then to, like I said, to, to cap off in New York um, it was, was just such a, such a sweet ending. And we have one more festival next week. In fact, we're playing in Minnesota at Twin Cities. So we have some nice Midwest. We have East Coast, West Coast. Uh, we played in Sweden um, also a month ago at the uh, Live at Heart uh, wow. Festival, and um, that was also a wonderful experience. And it's just it's just been great to just travel the world. And I I have to say I took a quite a long glance at your resume, and you have done quite a bit of international oh, travel you're yourself. So kind. So. It is an honor. Really. <laughs> I I, I see sure. you know uh-huh. you know. No, 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 but you know, I'm sure in Sweden they're gonna love you because I don't want to reveal too much. I mean, we, we can't say because the, the the photos are up there, but we we can see you bleach your um your, your hair, right? This is yeah. how you got there, and uh, and so you look uh, quite Swedish now, you know, to me. So <laughs> you're right. I think you have the perfect look over there, you know. So <laughs> so and and also I'm I'm so glad you know that you are traveling with with your movie, you know, that you're going with your movie. And uh, when we had the chat, you mentioned something great. You said the movie is playing over there, you know, um, and, and, and you, you sounded like uh, uh, you have your own band and you're going to play a gig. You know what I mean? Um, and, and I thought that was really, really, really great because it's not that the movie is on the tape and the movie is made and is on the file. Uh, for you, it's still alive. You know, and, and that's oh, that I love to hear you uh, uh, around. Uh, so also, we, we, we have to say a few words about uh, the fantastic performance of that uh, female yeah. character played by Jenna Cannell. I hope I'm saying it right. Jenna Cannell. And, you said it yeah, perfectly. And, and yeah, also, Jenna Cannell. And, and also, you got my favorite villain of all time, <laughs> Mr. Kevin Gage. Um, Kevin Gage. Yeah, that, that you saw in the movie Heat. Uh, you know, the... The, the 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 guy that Robert De Niro goes to the hotel and yep. he goes to, mm-hmm. and then some to mm-hmm. him and look at me and that look when he brings his eyes up you know <laughs> he says in people's eyes I think forever <laughs> so really your 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 um your characters are absolutely uh, uh, wonderful and uh, when we just look at the skills of uh, the movie skills of the of of the film. Uh, that are out there. If you Google the movie uh, Miss Fortune, uh, Desmond Devanish, you can see just by the expression that we're taking on a photo, like what kind of a, a thing you. you are yeah. dealing with. Really, really. Um, so w- what is next for you, my dear Desmond? W- w- what are you doing well, next yeah. after, after this one? Well, right now, we have a couple of things happening right now. In fact, well, I mean, feature-wise, I'll get into that second. Right now, um, we're also working on some some projects for uh, for visibility because I feel like it's nice to also have some uh, some use of, of of your creativity to help some social issues and right now there's a issue going on in in, uh, in uh, North Dakota with this uh, pipe uh, the pipe the access pipeline that they are looking to to build underneath the sacred territories of the uh, tribes and so we're building a spot for that um, uh, to do like a reel for them to gain more visibility to get more supplies. 
up to that area and location for their uh, for their yeah for their protection of the water. So that's that's one thing we have right now, and we're doing that with Gunnison Galaxy, which is our creative collective. And the creative collective is um, it's a brainchild of mine to really put much more uh, fostering in the creativity of a lot of independent artists, musicians, uh, filmmakers, writers, whatever the scope of their creativity, because I feel like now with the industry so blown wide open, there really needs to be some more cohesion and and synergy between us as artists, because I think we we have something very important to offer the world, and I really want to nurture that. Um, so that's that. <laughs> Um, and as far as uh, the next narrative feature I'm working on, uh, there's a film that we are uh, we have uh, the rights to that was a novel, a of, of, of the novel uh, winner of Amazon Kindle Scout winner named Stacy Cochran, and the film is going to be called Eddie and Sunny, the same title as the novel, which is about two homeless people that are very destitute living out of their car, uh, the uh, pregnant. Um, uh, partner, she has a, uh, a six-year-old, and they are trying to just find a way to make ends meet in the south of U.S., and they come into a crime that they have to uh, commit by self-defense, and they are vilified by the media, and it really is a, a very large commentary on the, uh, the situation economically, socioeconomically in the United States, and also how I believe there are cases where the media can can really just do major damage on on the psyche of people and and to have a way to show that these people can liberate themselves and to be together amidst this crisis that um, practically separates them and it's a, it's a love story it's a thriller love story uh, with a little bit of social commentary wow. about the, the U.S. Wow. So, well, let, let me tell you, if you uh, are an investor, because of one thing that you do. Uh, very well is that you know because you're also an actor because you're a director and because you're a producer mm -hmm. uh, you know exactly how to um to put each dollar to the right place there is not a yep. dollar that is wasted there, 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 is, there, there are no uh, waste in the budget so the result of that is that your movies become very uh, profitable who whoever Yeah, uh, a dollar, and you definitely know how to turn yep. a dollar into two dollars. You know, uh, and so if someone wants to invest in your films, because that's something really that in our audience we have a lot of people of the industry, sure. okay, and we have a lot of uh, investors and a lot of my friends who writing me. So I would like to invest in that Broadway show. I would like to invest in this, in that, in that. Yep. So I want to say that when you invest in a show, if the show is not successful. You, you know, you, you can just cry home for the rest of your life, you know. But yeah. with a movie, it's always a good thing because even if, and I'm saying even if, the film is yep. not successful in, in, a, in a, as a theater release, it would work as a DVD, as a VOD. Uh, it yep. would work when you would sell it to television. Like a film can literally live for 50 years, you know. Like if you yeah. look at the film Scarface, Um, it was a, a disaster as a theater release, but when it started Correct. to go as a home video, it became a hit. You know, so so you just uh, uh, never know, and and it's true. So you want to be proud to have your film around and and to have your name on the screen as one of the investor, or the executive producer. There's nothing. It's a thrill that that has uh, no uh, uh, equivalent in the rest of the world. Really, to have. Uh, perhaps to become a father, perhaps. <laughs> But, uh, you know, that, that's really the second on the list is really to have your name on the screen. That's really uh, something. So if someone wants to invest in your movies, uh, because also you don't need millions to invest in a movie. You can start with yeah. 10, with 20,000. Uh, you can yeah. start with 100,000. And, and trust me, it's not that you're getting uh, 0.0001 cents. Uh, no, it's, it's you getting... You're getting a good cut, you know. Uh, so, um, and also you live a great experience because you're making history, definitely. So, if someone wants to invest in your movie, what is the best way to do it? Yeah, I mean, and and, and that. Thank you so much for for setting it up. Um, you can you can obviously get in touch uh, on Gunnison Galaxy. Um, we have all of our contacts there, and that's that's where we're building our pipeline right now for for all our 
all our full service industry um, accommodations we, we have obviously for for investments for distribution uh, pre production. I mean, ultimately, I believe this is all a reaction to the studios because there is a formula that we all see that has been um, redone over and over, um, which is not to say there's not a lot of wonderful films that do come out, but I think that there's a lot of there's a lot of fear involved because people are worried about making investments. However, I believe uh, through and through, if you tell a story that touches the human public, that is an honest story, that has commercial value, that is done well, produced well, shot well, acted well, and looks great and stunning and has something different to say, I really believe you cannot do any wrong. And I, and I will put everything behind it because I have done with my films. I've put my money into my films because I believe in them. And I believe that even though people think that there's unpredictability in film as an investment, I don't believe one, one, one shred of if you have all the right components in there, it will not be a commercial success and be a very important uh, social uh, success. So, you know, that's what I said that as far as as far as the um uh, the breakdown with the investments, yeah, you can you can you can invest different different portions and there's different there's different uh there's different ways to structure those payments and I have uh, a lot of people that that work with us with investments and actually you mentioned uh, I don't know if you mentioned Sarah uh, King of Smith uh who is uh, uh, a no. manager but she's also a, a wonderful uh, producer and she uh, this is this is her this is her forte so um, I definitely have people that would be able to, to to walk them through that and show the waterfall and the return on the investment and, wow. and to make them interested because you know not only do we, we want people that can have some sort of uh, some some financial gain from from investing but we want people that are passionate that believe in good storytelling yeah. that believe in the art of traditional cinema which I believe cinema had uh, initially uh, made its uh, its first breaks uh, forth on the on you know on a scene to to tell stories and to have something that really made 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 a made a difference. So we definitely want people that are passionate and and we want to give back to the people too. So yeah. I think we can yeah. all make money and we can all do do some major change and have some great movies and entertainment. W- wonderful. And I personally can donate to my mother in law if she wants as a compensation. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Please take wonderful. her, please. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> no, and, and but 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 you know, uh, it just shows to our audience and to the rest of the world uh that um when a film director is selling his house and to invest that money yeah. into a movie, the movie would be successful. I mean, if the director believes that much in the movie, then it, something will happen out of it. It just shows that this is not any kind of a, a scam or, or something. You put money in, you will never see it. And Everything. Just to pay for everybody. No, 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 no. If the director is putting his own money to do that movie, yep. it means you can trust me, you will get something out of it. So, my dear uh, Desmond, I want yeah. to thank you again so much for um, for taking some time. I know how busy you are today because you are at the film festival, and I know you stepped out of the of the room uh, to to take a few minutes with us. So we really really appreciate that, um, and uh, and and I hope yeah to see uh, that that film. I think it will be released in theater in December, if I understood well. Um, yeah, we're looking for a day and date release December, correct? Exactly. Okay, so it will I can be guarantee everywhere. you that I want to see that film again. So <laughs> I will be there at the at the at the theater to 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 watch it, um, and uh, and definitely once it will be released on iTunes or or any VOD platform, I will buy it because it's really really a tour de force. It's really a masterclass, and it's it's really a, a school case study because. The, the way you shot it, the way you capture everything, sometimes with no dialogue, it's really phenomenal how you took us. Uh, and, and I wrote actually on the on the on the modest review, I wrote uh, that yeah. uh, you, we really feel we're in the car with you, we are in the room with you. It's really something yep. I've, I've never never seen before, really. So, well, yeah. Thank you. No, no, so I was going to say, I I I, I want I I to me I, I really pride myself on is I want to feel I feel people are very sincere uh, when they go into a movie or they go into a theater or an opera and, you know and, and they want to be 
hold something that that makes them feel. And I feel like there's so much stock put into big explosions, big special effects, big uh, you know different realities, which again is is very fun and entertaining. But I think at the end of it, though, we also need to be honest and sincere with our audience, and we need to tell them uh, yeah. things that I feel are very s- simple in nature, but very profound in 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 in, in emotion and thought. And I appreciate that you that you see that, and and our we're gonna make some incredible art. I I feel it, I know it, I see it happening now. Yeah. And uh, Gunnison Galaxy, I just wanted to see if we can bring people to Gunnison Galaxy to. To, to see where we're going to grow, and and you've given me this opportunity to to spread the word, and, and I really appreciate it, David. Uh, no, no, my, my dear friend, the doors of this show are open to you 24-7, and, and anything <laughs> yeah. that you would do, really, we will talk about it, because you are a genius, you are a first-class actor, you are a first-class director, you're a producer, you're an artist, you are passionate at the end of the film festival, you shook the hand of everybody around. You greeted everybody who came to compliment you because the audience was like, wow, that's amazing. And, and I always say, if the guy is as good on the screen as he is in life, uh, uh, success will come. It's only a matter of time. So I want to thank you again, my dear Desmond. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Cerrero. I had the pleasure today to have Mr. Desmond Devanish who is the director, the producer, and the lead actor on the fantastic film. It's really a masterpiece thriller. It's called Misfortune in one word, not Misfortune. <laughs> Misfortune in one Thank word. Uh, uh, it's a fantastic film. It, it opened um, uh, the, the, the Chelsea Film Festival, which is a fantastic film festival. It's still playing until Sunday, which is uh, tomorrow, uh, October the 16th, 2016. And... Um, and and we wish only the best. And please, if you see the movie Misfortune that is playing around, go to see it. If you're a movie theater, get in touch uh, with the production company of uh, Desmond to try to, to, to buy that film, to show it to your audience. Or if uh, anyways you, you want to invest in the next film of Mr. Devonish, really, really, that every single penny will have its value. I can guarantee that. Uh, thank you very much, Desmond. And talk to you very soon. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, David. My pleasure. pleasure. You take care. Bye-bye.